Welcome back to CETV with the Soul Man Frank here. We love photography at Camera Electronic. We've got the three shops and a great website. Love to see you and have you talk to us about your photography and just share some stories about photography, videography, anything to do with the imaging world. Camera Electronic, 51 and a half years, and we're gonna be presenting on some great facts in photography. Come and check out our YouTube channel. So we are so lucky at Camera Electronic, we get to test and try all the new cameras, all the latest uh, toys, and actually that's not true. We don't get to test them. Our customers do, guys that actually get to, and girls that used to, that you get to test this stuff in the field. And welcome, Manuel, Manuel Guerrero. Manuel is a professional photographer who has flown all over the world shooting his passion of Formula One. He's also shot portraits in studio, and today we're going to be talking about his testing of the latest OM camera. Manuel, yeah. thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having me. It's Mate, a, it was a pleasure to have this little toy in my hands and test it uh, over the past week. Um, it's a good little, good little thing. Yeah, we're going to come back to why there's a bottle of water here later. <laughs> so I'm that's... scared about it. <laughs> and actually we might need a... Can someone on set bring a bucket, please? <laughs> so, OM camera. You're wearing an Olympus shirt, so oh, yeah. I actually wouldn't mind talking a, a bit about that before yeah. we get into the uh, depth and detail of the OM5. So Olympus is over 100 years old, one of the oldest camera companies in the world. And a lot of people don't realize the actual, they call him the godfather of Olympus, is uh, Mr. Matani. Matani. And uh, if, you, if you want to correct me or correct how I've pronounced it, please put something in the comments. You won't be able to do the actual pronunciation on the comments, but if I've got that wrong and he's not the godfather of Olympus, let us know. But what we've decided to do uh, globally, from Olympus point of view, not we, Camera Electronic, they're now calling it the OM system. Olympus has this amazing system of lenses and cameras. You've been using Olympus yep. for a while. What do you think of their lenses? Oh, it's, it's the main reason why I switched from the previous um, uh, system that I was using to Olympus yep. is just to have those amazing lenses that at the same time are in an amazing compact size. So for me, when I was traveling, that was absolutely a, a, a bonus to be able to carry just a little backpack with all my gear instead of having a full size trolley yeah um so the and and the quality is just outstanding so. so if you're an olympus lover and you've been on olympus for years and years that hasn't changed it's still olympus but you're going to see more and more the om system branding and it'll be from olympus Mertani. and uh, what you're going to see what they've always honored is their traditions over the last hundred years of the smallest quality cameras out there so they were the first to bring out the smallest film slr again happy for you to correct me soul man frank but what we've got here is a tiny OM system camera that gives you exquisite quality. It takes all the old Olympus lenses. Yeah. Even this lens here is still branded Olympus. You can have a look at that later. And with, there must be, again, happy to hear your comments, over 30 odd lenses in the Olympus yeah, range? Yeah, well, uh, from the Pro series uh, to the normal kit lenses, um, amazing zooms and primes. Uh, it's just, um, you can't, you, you cannot pick something that really suits you. So yeah. it's uh, it, it, they're great and a great variety. Of and you mentioned there's actually different series. So there's like the Pro yeah. Series and they've got built-in image stabilization. Yep, correct. And um, they, like a, one of my favorite lens, the, the, the 45 Prime 1.2 is wow. an amazing lens. And you know, if you had it on a full frame, it would be like a half a kilo. Uh, big thing in yeah. front of your lens here is just uh, just a little one that you plug in and the quality is... And that's one of their pro lenses, yeah. the f1.2. Yeah. And so if you have that on this camera, and the OM5 now has six and a half stops image stabilization, and then if you're using some of the in-sync pro image stabilization lenses, even seven and a half stops. It's, it's, uh, it's unreal. I was shooting just yesterday to finish testing the camera at uh, two seconds and held and, uh, and I was just like two seconds handheld. I, I was like, "There's no way this is going to be sharp," and and it was sharp. It's yeah, just we, need, a, we need to edit that image uh, in, please. It's just, just... Uh, yeah, it's just incredible, and and that's um, 
you know, there's a lot of people that say that um, the Micro Four Thirds is not as good with ISO uh, when uh, when you need to push it down in low light. But with this kind of stabilization, you don't really need it because you can handheld something a lot lot slower yeah, right. than with a normal camera. So you don't have to push the ISO that high. You know, if I have like a, a uh, someone a portrait at um, I don't know maybe a sixes of a second to have it sharp with this one I can go up 15 or uh, and, and it's still nice and sharp so I don't have to push the ISO that high. It's the insanity of what is actually capable from a small camera small sensor yeah. and there's situations where you're traveling you, you just cannot carry weight you yeah. have to watch every gram when you're going to trek to take some great waterfall yeah this is the system you want but, to take. Uh, but look, this, is, this was fitting yesterday. I went tracking with my dog and my, my wife and my son, and then it's just linked into my pocket. Wow. I just have it in my pocket. It's not that, it's like having a phone. It's just like, yeah, yeah right. obviously. Yeah, I got a little bit more baggy pants, but it's still, it's, it's nothing, you know. Crazy. I mean, if you are going to be trekking to do a waterfall, I know you showed me one of your waterfall images before yeah. when we were off set. Yeah. Did you use it because they've got this new live MD? Yeah. On new, it's something unique to them. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I have it already in my other Olympus camera, and then they implemented it in this uh, new on 5 And um, you go up to four stops of ND filters, so up to ND4. Yeah, and, wow. um, and I shot a waterfall, 2.5 seconds exposure in the middle of the day. Um, and it was and hand, handheld. Handheld. Yeah, again, yeah. that's the sort of stuff you normally would have had to go and lug a tripod. Oh, up put a tripod mountain. and then stuck some, uh, you know, and, uh, ND filters on top of the lens. Oh, uh, so you don't even need to carry ND filters. You no, don't you don't, carry no, you don't need to carry kind of anything. That's, yeah. uh, that's amazing. That's, that's, uh, that's, amazing. Uh, that's, uh, that's uh, for, for tracking and people that like to do those sort of things. That's an incredible feature. I know they're very proud of the waterproof rating in this. Well, I, I know people can correct me if that's water resistant or waterproof, but it's this water rating called IP53. It's yep. only in one of their like top pro cameras in the OM1. Yep. So in this class of camera, in mirrorless, I think even across many of the brands, it's the only one to have this IP53 yep. rating. I was having a conversation as, well, we can, maybe we keep it for later. I don't know what the bottle of water will be, but let's, we keep it for later. Now, I had uh, this story from the oh, Ol right. Olympus uh, um, guy that said that he was um, fishing and he dropped the camera and uh, <laughs> And then he dive and pick it up, and then he kept, it, kept using it. Talk about this on. on we don't say which one of the okay. Olympus guy was, ah, okay. so, so he's not going to get into any trouble. About and then it, so. he then he sent us this one that says sample on the back. So <laughs> hopefully uh, we we might test it. I'm going to open this bottle of water, pour it on the camera. I, I won't tell you what point in the video, so you have to keep watching. I might not actually. I'm not sure, but uh, but truly, if you want to test it, IP53. And I know those guys did test yeah. it properly. So. No, no, no. Yes, it's, oh, I, I've been shooting with Olympus, not with this water resistant level, yeah. in the middle of a thunderstorm. And I yeah. kept shooting when everyone else was going back. I was I kept shooting. I was the only person kept shooting. The camera didn't skip a beat. Yeah, because it's not just their camera. It's the lenses as, as, well, as well that have that same sort of level of, of waterproofness. And they've Absolutely. got these seals that are just insane. Absolutely. And then when you talk about some of the other little specs, like you're talking about a 20.1 megapixel, so you can still get huge blows if you want to do prints yeah. and... Absolutely. Uh, there's, no, it, there's nothing uh, that limits for you to just start take their amazing pictures and have it blown and put it in your living room or use it for even just something commercial, you know, you can just blow it out. So it's, yeah, it's insane. Insane. So there was a couple of things I remember when I was looking at the specs and the features, and you may be more across this. There's something called live composite how does that work? yeah so the, the, the live, there's live or... bulb and live composite which is an, an amazing feature and I actually I used it uh, oh, more you? than okay. more than once um, not on this camera but it's been on an Olympus camera for a while so you know when you do bulb exposure you know you you have a lot of guessing how long your exposure is gonna be yeah because, because basically what you press the button the then, shutter opens you shut it opens and then you have to press it again and yeah. so hoping that you let it for long enough that you have enough light uh, and everything with with the live bulb um, you see the images appearing on the screen 
That's so, pretty cool. So you don't have to guess anymore. When you are satisfied with the images that you have, you just press the shutter again and that's your image. So it really actually helps you on your photographic journey. Absolutely. If you're learning, it's a great way to get into yeah, it. Yeah, and the same with the uh, live uh, composite. Mm. It's um, when you when you want to do like um, even just double exposures or, or um, sometimes you want to take a photo of someone and there's a lot of people that like to do those um, uh, light streaks around someone yeah. and you can actually see all the lights appearing. Uh, so the, the camera takes one photo, all right, at the, the exposure that you want. Yeah. And then it keeps it there. And then it keeps recording. And only things that are brighter in the in the um, in the shot, they start to appear. So you can actually start writing with anything. And the exposure of the person painting with light almost. But it will not change the original exposure. So for stuff for um, uh, fireworks. It's incredible. If you want to go to the, um, you know, Australia Day, for example, and uh, yeah. you want to have a nice shot of the city, but but then you want to keep having adding um, oh, that's fireworks. Super cool, yeah. If you are keeping the shutter open all the time, at one stage the, the city will be overexposed. But instead, the, the city stays at the same exposure. Only the fireworks will start appearing in the screen. So it's, it's quite incredible. rare and unique. I haven't heard yeah, about that. It's, a, it's a great feature. I used it last year for Australia Day, which is crazy. Oh, and so, crazy. and you would have used it in like the OM1 or something like that. So the fact that they've oh, only um, uh, yeah, the M1X. X. Yeah, oh wow! Also, it's already it's been there that's for their, quite a while. Like one of their top top pro cameras. Yeah. So the fact that that's in here as well is yeah. Really no, cool. they they stack all the great function in a top camera and these little ones yeah it's that's great. insane i mean even so with focus stacking and i know because it's a stack sensor so how does yep. the focus stacking work because that's another cool <laughs> that's another, so i never did macro in my life uh, i was just a macro virgin um <laughs> you heard so, it here first so uh, we're talking when, uh, photography really so i um i got the uh, the 60 millimeter macro lens which is so oh, their one is super sharp. It's a, and yeah. it's a little toy, you know, it looks like a little toy, but it's an incredible 16 millimeter 2.8 micro lens. And I decided that I wanted to try and do macro because I wanted to try. So I got this little fly there and I was, and I was taking photos and yeah, it was nice and sharp, but only, obviously, only the face of the, the fly. So I said like, okay, what's this focus? Yeah, it's the hardest thing with macro is this? you get one tiny section in focus yeah. and everything else is out of focus. Yeah, no. Nah. Really? Because <laughs> with the, with the um, focus stacking, focus bracketing, so you take an image, you tell the camera how far you want to push the focus, you just take one photo and the camera automatically, in like one second, take a series of photos of all different focus range. Yeah, right. And then you end, and they stitch them together automatically. At the end, in the camera? End, in camera. And then at the end, you have your whole thing all in focus. And I was just, I was just like, and wow, then so the I, capabilities for that are pretty huge. You could be using that for jewelry photography or bugs or anything. Yeah, you know. and and you can actually see it, it, it all goes on the silent shutter, so there's no noise, and you can actually see the the, the focus going because it's so quick and taking the images. So the, obviously the subject doesn't have much a chance of yeah. moving. So it's very quick, and you can see the focus moving from the start to the end of the. Oh, that's insane! So there's some big good. wins in this camera. Absolutely. You talk about things like yep. what the Star is, uh, Sky AF can do, things with shooting uh, live composite, live ND, yep. focus stacking is pretty amazing. And these these are actually pro features out of some of their yep. EM1X Home One that they've put in this the, camera. Every, you can do so many things with this camera in camera. You know, the, you know, the focus stacking or the, even like a normal. Uh, Bracketing, uh, HDR, everything done in camera in you know milliseconds. So yeah, and does all the job for you. All stacks all the images together, and then you, you just yeah. Your and it, and it weighs like nothing. So if you're going to be doing anything where you need something small and light but high quality, then this is the camera. I did notice they've got something called uh, Starry Sky AF. So yeah, I was for, curious to try it. It's yeah, just right. that we had. Uh, two weeks of uh, cloudy skies and rain here, so I just couldn't do oh, it. It has it's been shocking in Perth. I mean, the rain is fine. We can shoot in the rain with this camera, but when you want to get a nice if starry you wanna, sky. Yeah, <laughs> it was just uh, not so uh, easy to, to do. And uh, But it's, uh, it's um, apparently it's a super fast autofocus yeah, right. for, for the stars, which is That's you know, insane. Yeah. There's a massive solar eclipse coming next year in April. And Don't the keep it. best place to shoot is going to be in Western Australia. And a lot of people are trying to find the right camera. I think this could actually be one of them. So yeah. you've got to you know, do some investigation into that. 
But for astrophotographers, that starry sky AF, because we were at a, a function on the weekend called Astrofest, and they had an astrophotography competition, and the guys are trying to explain to us about, you know, identifying constellations by having the stars actually being a little bit blurry. So starry sky AF means instead of having a super sharp uh, image of a star, if it's actually a little bit soft, you can see the colours and identify them. So I would love to test that one day with this one. Do you use the, the flip out screen a lot? I know we left I, I it do, out like this. I do, um, it, especially when uh, I um, take a portrait or uh, photograph uh, my dogs uh, or anything yeah. that is uh, either lower or um, or, uh, or too high. It's uh, absolutely um, un it's very useful. Actually, it, yeah, it is very useful. Yeah, right. And sometimes also when it's very bright outside, you can flip it so you're looking at the images, but it's not right in the sky and it's not too reflective for the sun and everything. So it's, yeah. um, it works very well. Yeah, because it is hard to be able to see in the, in the viewfinder and then you use the screen, but then you've got the bright sun yeah. and you can't see the screen properly. So no, no, it's very useful. Where it actually becomes very, very useful. Awesome. And any other uh, standout features as far as I know when it comes, I don't know if you've got a chance to use video because I know you're a photographer and that's yep. why, we, why we chose you, but they do uh, uh, hang their hat on saying that the video quality out of this is amazing. Uh, look, it, 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 is, uh, it is very good. Uh, it's very good on, on all their ranges, it, it, especially because of their stabilization, you know, it's, uh, it's oh, so true, fluid and uh, um, it, it's and the tilt screen, it has um, I um, see, because you've got, you've got like the flip around sort of selfie mode, so but vloggers would like there's also camera. like a selfie mode assisting uh, feature. You because can actually record vertically and yeah, then... I went to a marketing uh, seminar recently yeah. and they were all talking about vertical content is going to become huge because of Insta and you seeing all these vertical screens. And, and, it, and it will em embed the, um, in the metadata, so the video uh, editing programs recognize that you intentionally shot it vertically and it will not try to correct it and just oh, turn that's it around. Amazing. That's yeah. a big win. Yeah, big win. That's good. Awesome. It's a, it's a good little, look, it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's a good little camera. I, uh, I used it for a week. I did everything that I wanted to do and it didn't let me down. Um, I went from walking in the streets uh, uh, to go to the park, to photograph my dog jumping and... Because it um, looks so small on retro, people probably don't think you're carrying an expensive camera and then you can actually get yeah. into some And also, I mean, I mean, this is the silver one. Obviously, there's the black one model as well, yeah. which is, with the black one, I think is a little bit more invisible. Mm. Like if you do a lot of street, photo street photography, you know, you don't, you're not in people's faces. Yeah. And small lenses, small camera, you just... Um, go around and you can snap and doing some street photography without being noticed too much. Um, Actually, you know, you mentioned about the audio recording and then doing vertical and even yeah. Instagrammers and stuff like that. Olympus even made their own audio recorder that actually fits on this camera. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that, but we're going to be getting them in store soon. Get the model exactly, but you guys can make some comments on it. It's a PSL5. They're going to tell me off on after we finish this, if I got that right or wrong, but Bring your comments and then you can look on our website and try and find at cameraelectronic.com.au if we've got the PSL5 in stock. Aside from that, I think I want to say to you a huge thank you. No, it's always, it's always a pleasure. I'd without like a professional play. photographer like yourself, we wouldn't even know what this camera is capable of. No, no, no. It's, uh, and uh, I'm always so surprised by the thing that um, the new little system delivers. So I'm always happy and yeah. I always wish I could keep them, but you never let me keep them. Well, it's, well uh, it's been something that has been going on for a while. We, we, have, to, we have to talk about this offset. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming along to view and hear all about the latest OM system camera, Olympus Matani. And next time you'll see us with the OM system shirt, you'll know what it's all about. And uh, huge thanks to Manuel. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.